inside the garden. Near Alice was a small tree with flowers on it. There were three gardeners by the tree. Be careful, five, one of them said. I'm always careful, seven, answered five. Alice went to them. What are you doing? she asked. We are making the flowers red, one of the gardeners said. That is strange, thought Alice. Why? she asked. The three men looked unhappy. You coward, seven, five said. No, no, said seven. You tell her to. Well, miss, the queen wanted trees with red flowers on them, but this tree has got white flowers. We do not want the queen to see it. She will be very angry and cut off your heads. So we are making the flowers red before she sees them. Oh no! Five shouted suddenly. The queen! The queen! The, green, the three gardeners fell to the ground with their faces down. Alice heard the sound of many feet and turned round. Oh, good, she thought. Now, now I will see the queen. First, ten men with clubs in their hands came into the garden. Next came the king's men. There were ten of them, and they had red diamonds on their clothes. The Children of the king and queen came next, all with red hearts. After them, there were a lot more people. Most of them were kings and queens. The white rabbit was there, but he did not see Alice. The knave of hearts came next. Last of all were the, were the king and queen of hearts. When these people saw Alice, they all stopped. The queen said to the knave of hearts, Who is this? The knave of hearts did not know. So he smiled and said nothing. Stupid man! shouted the queen. She turned to Alice and said, What's your name, child? My name is Alice, madam, Alice answered. She did not feel very afraid of the queen. They are only cards, she thought. The queen looked at the gardeners. They were on the ground and she could not see their faces. Who are these men, she asked. Do not ask me, or I don't know, answered Alice, not very politely. The queen's face got redder and redder. She looked at Alice and shouted, Cut down her head! Cut! Oh, be quiet, said Alice. The, the queen stopped shouting. The king put his hand on her arm. He said quietly, Don't be angry, my dear. She was only a child. The queen turned away from him angrily. Turn those men over! She said to the knave of hearts. The knave did this very carefully with one foot. Queen shouted. The three gardeners jumped up. The queen turned to the little tree and looked at it carefully. What is wrong with these flowers? She asked the gardeners. 
Well, well, you see, madam, said to there were right, and the queen looked from the flowers to the men. I see, she said, cut off the heads. Everybody started walking again. The gardeners ran to Ellis. Help us, uh, they cried. Alice put them behind some trees. Do not be afraid, she said. They are not going to cut off your heads. The king's men looked for the gardeners but could not find them. Are their heads off? Shouted the queen. Yes, madam. Shouted the king's man. Good. Shouted the queen. Everybody started walking again, and now let's walk with them. It is a very fine day, somebody said. Alice turned round, and there was the white rabbit next to her. Very, said Alice. Where is the Duchess? Quiet, said the rabbit and looked all around him. Then he put his mouth near to Alice, Alice's ear. They are going to cut off her head, he said. Why, asked Alice. Did you say, oh no, asked the white rabbit. No, I did not. I said, why? She hit the queen, the rabbit said. Alice started to laugh. Quiet, said the rabbit again. The queen will hear you. She hears everything. See, the duchess came late. When she arrived, the queen said. Suddenly, the queen shouted very loudly, going to lose their head now Alice wondered she began to feel afraid the queen is not angry with me now she thought but it would happen I would like to speak to somebody about it she looked round the white rabbit was not there she looked up there was something above her head what is it? She wondered. She watched for a minute or two. It was a smile. It is the Shusha cat, she thought. Now I can talk to somebody. How are you? The Shusha cat asked. Alice waited. She thought. I will not speak speak to it before it has its ears or perhaps one ear. In another minute, she could see its ears and eyes. Do you let the queen? The cat asked. I don't, said Alice. But then she saw the queen. She was very near Alice. She is wonderful, said Alice. The queen smiled and moved away, but the king saw the cat's head and came to Alice. Who, who are you talking to? he asked. It is a friend, a shisher cat, answered Alice. The king looked carefully at the cat. I do not like it, said the king. Well, I do not like you, said the cat. That is not polite, said the king and got behind Alice. Alice said, a cat can look at a king. I read that in a book, I think. Well, this cat has to go, said the king. He called to the queen, my dear, I do not 
this cat? The queen had only one answer to problems. Cut off its head! She, shout, she shouted loudly. She did not look at the cat. The king smiled happily after a short time. There were a lot of people around the cat. There was the king and queen with, and a man with a very long knife in its hand. How can I? How can I? Cut off it. It's it. Asked the man with the knife. I cannot do it and I'm not going to. Oh, yes, you are, said the king. It has got a head, so you can cut it off. Do you stop me? No, or I will cut off everybody's head, said the queen angrily. What do you think? The king asked Alice. Alice thought for a minute. Then she said, it is the duchess's cat. Ask her about it. Bring the duchess here, the queen said. Then the Cheshire cat's head started to vanish. Somebody came back with the duchess, but now there was nothing above Alice's head. Not an eye, or an ear, or a smile. The king looked for the cat for some time, but he could not find it anywhere. Come for a walk, you dear thing, the Duchess said to Alice. She put her arm through Alice, is, and they walked through the garden. She is very friendly to me, thought Alice. Perhaps when the cook is not there, she was nice. When I am a duchess, I am going to be kind to my children. Are you thinking, asked the duchess, you have to talk to me, you know. All right, said Alice. She could hear the queen at the other end of the garden. Cut off her head! She sounded every two or three minutes. Would they cut off your head? Alice asked the Duchess. Oh no! They never cut off anybody's head. The Queen likes seeing it, but she never does it. Alice wanted to ask more questions, but they heard a cry. The trial is beginning. What trial is it? Alice asked. The Duchess did not answer and started to run. Her arm wasn't Alice's, so Alice ran too. Thank you for watching.